We're back for the new year with the Coffee Groove and some more great parenting tips with our regular parenting advisor, John Cowan, and Sergeant Dean McEntee as well, to look at the safety messages that we should be sharing with our kids about potential dangers without actually scaring them. Good morning to you both. Morning. Now, Dean, let's start with you. First up, uh, what should we be warning our children about? Uh, we should be telling our children that um, one of the myths out there at the moment is that it's stranger danger. Mm. And actually, stranger danger is a really bad thing to be educating children about. Yes, there are strangers who are a concern. Okay, but the reality is most of the abuse that's happening is actually being done by people known to the children. So we want them to know that. And that's really interesting because for four years it's been don't take the sweetie from the strange man in the van. But really that's not the, the fundamental problem these days. That's right. I'm not familiar with too many people roaming around with sweeties in vans. That probably still does happen, but mm. it's pretty rare. Child abductions particularly. You don't hear much about those, but when they do come on, everyone suddenly talks about stranger mm. danger. Uh, John, at what age do you think we should start teaching or introducing the safety messages to our kids? I think children are picking up from parents even before before the children are talking, they're picking up your attitudes about respect for their body, respect for uh, other people's bodies. And as you're doing things like dressing a, a toddler in a swimsuit, you can be talking about what parts are private, what parts can be touched by other people and what parts can't. And so even from a very young age, they can start to learn uh, what bits uh, to be kept safe and it's not a prudishness it's it's actually a genuine safety message and they're picking up from your attitudes your attitudes to certain people and which people you trust and which people you're not quite so sure about and they're picking up on these things all the time so start really really yeah. young um dean you're involved with the keeping ourselves safe program at school so what what are you teaching the kids and what age do you start well we start at five years old and what we're teaching them basically is that first of all they need to understand strategies and, and techniques on engaging with other people because it's so important for them. Um, you know, they've been in relationships since they've been well before they were born yeah. and they're going to continue in those relationships until the day they die so they need to know how to engage with others. But as well as that they need to know what to do if they are being harmed or abused and who to talk to. Um, they need to be able to recognise behaviour that's unsafe or makes them uncomfortable, mm. to know that those things are wrong and that's not their fault, uh, despite what the perpetrator mm. might do. The victims mm. are not at fault. And there is help out there. Who do they need to go to? Well, you know, they'll be talking about that and discussing those things. And then, obviously, um, understanding that help is there, and if it's not coming the first time... And it's not their fault. It's, it's not their fault. Mm. And they keep asking for help until... They get it. They get it. John, what sort of things can we do at home to back these messages up? Well, you want your children to be polite and respectful of adults, but they also need to know that they can say no, even to an adult. No, I don't like that. No, I don't want you to do that. And uh, we sometimes get a bit freaked out by kids having that much poison power, but it's that, that type of message which keeps kids safe. That's what they and, need to have. And they also need to know that they can talk to parents and they won't get in trouble. A good open relationship with a parent is probably one of the most potent things for keeping a child safe. And that really takes some work. Dean, mm. um, what, do you, what do you need to look for? I mean, how do you know if a child is being abused? I mean, are there certain signs that we should be looking for? That's a big one. That's a big yeah. question. Um, at the end of the day, yes, there are some signs, but uh, one sign in itself, a red flag, might not necessarily mean the child's being abused. I mean, think of a child going through something like divorce. Mm. You know, there's going to be many complications and emotional effects in that that just cannot be avoided from the situation. So I think really you're looking for um, impacts emotionally which are, um, are, are quite unsettling for that child. And, you know, thinking about their world compared to ours, their world's quite an unpredictable world. Mm. So their ability to re react to those things that are happening mm. Um, may be you know, quite alarming. The other thing is what behavioural changes are you seeing? Um, and and you know, when you think about our programme, Keeping Ourselves Safe, the, the teachers have that relationship with those students and they'll see maybe, hello, this child's acting differently from what I know this child to be, what's going on here? And it can be obviously lots of different things, kind of lots mm. of different emotional reasons, so you have to really don't jump to the worst conclusion, but keep it in mind what is, could be happening. Totally. Yeah. Mm. So, John, what do you think? I mean, do parents tend to shy away from talking about these sort of topics with their kids? It's such an unpleasant thing that uh, perhaps people would rather just hope that it doesn't exist, but it does exist, and so hopefulness isn't 
go to be a good defence. Mm. You need to be brave and step up and talk to your kids about some of these things. But inappropriate behaviour, that can come from mm. not just other adults too, it can be other children as well at school, right. can't it? Yeah. That's, mm. that's totally right. Yeah. And, and one of the myths again is that you know, child abuse is happening from adult to child. Actually, yeah. a lot of it happens from from peer to peer. Mm. Mm. So, is there a website that we can go to to get more information about what's covered in the course or what we should be, uh, you know, be covering? Yeah, definitely. Uh, www.police.govt.nz. Go on that, then go into advice and uh, and look at um, our resources and our, um, yeah. our our school portal. That's what we call it. And there's tons of stuff there for for teachers, parents, students. The resources as well. In fact, there's no secrets here. You can actually look at it yourself. Excellent. Mm. Dean, John, thank, thank you, you so much. That has been great advice for keeping our kids safe. Uh, and we have a new sponsor of the coffee group as well, the fantastic Nellie's All Natural Laundry Soda. Check out their website at nellies.co.nz.